Hi friends, welcome to my fourth video. Just to recap, in our previous video, we discussed about uh, the TDD planning. We identify a function which will return a set of emails for a, a particular user. So, and this function will have two uh, parameters. One is user uh, ID and one is user type. We also uh, analyze the how test uh, how our test can fail. So, uh, with null user ID, this function will fail. Will null user type it will fail. Invalid user type it will fail. And if it's not returning array, we will uh, treat the function as uh, fail. So for uh, TDD development, uh, we will write the test first and then execute those tests. And we will write our code just to pass those tests. And in, in later on, we will also try to refactor the code. To save time, I have already written all the uh, tests, but we will go one test at a time. So first test is for uh, null user ID. Uh, before that, uh, I have created a class for uh, for parents, uh, and we have uh, we have uh, created a function uh, which we identified in our TDD planning with two parameters we have to write all the business logic here before that let's run our test so this test uh, should fail uh, uh, should return false uh, this uh, function should return false because there is null value in user id parameter so let's see if you can see uh, the uh, PHP unit has given that this test is failing. So what we will do is we will just write uh, just write a code to pass this test. So we will say if user ID is equal to null. Then this function should return false. So we wrote a test first and then we just uh, write the code to pass that uh, in order uh, to make the test pass. We'll execute the test again and if you can see it has passed. So this is how uh, we do TDD development. Now let's take the next test or next case which we discussed in TDD planning which was when we pass null user type this is user type when we pass null user type our function should again return false so let's see let's execute this so it's failing if you can see test null user type in email collection is failing so in our code we will just try to pass this test we will say if this is null or user type is null our function should return false now let's see execute the test and if you can see two tests have passed so let's move on to the third condition which was when we pass invalid user type this function should again return false right so in this case if we pass user id and user type as student our parent email should return false because it's an incorrect user type so let's execute this test and it's failing because we have not written the code yet so let's write a code for this particular test if dollar user type is not equal to parent then our 
uh, code should return false. We are just writing code to pass our test. If you say uh, all three tests have passed, so that means these three conditions we have covered. Now the last one. Our function, uh, this particular test will test our function if it's returning array or not. So in PHP unit, uh, we don't test uh, database uh, just for a reason that uh, we want our test to run quickly. So what, what I've done is I have done a mocking of fetch parent from DB function. I'm assuming that this function will be uh, running a database query and uh, that will be returning uh, the set of email for uh, this user id and this user type uh, combination so for mocking i think you need to uh, go back and read if if uh, you're not familiar with mocking you have to go and uh, check the unit test uh, tutorials or wait for my videos on that subject <laughs> so so let's uh, write this uh, particular function in our class because we are not testing this function as it's just a uh, uh, just fetching uh, records from database so we can just uh, write this function like this and let it be this will be just like this my SQL whatever my SQL fetch array so we will uh, write our database query here later on currently for tests we have uh, said that this function will always return uh, array of two emails. So if user ID is one and user type is parent, our email collection function should return a array of these two emails. So let's say, uh, see if it's doing the same thing or not. No, it's not doing. Uh, it expect our function to return an array, but our function is returning a boolean. When we go back to our function, yes, in if it passed uh, these two condition, then it's returning true. So we have to change this function and write this fetch from DD. This and it will pass the test. That's it. The four, all four tests passed. So I think we have completed uh, the coding part of our function. Now the last part is refactoring of our code. So let's do some refactoring. If you see this parent uh, email, we are checking this user type and user ID as null. This thing we will be doing with all the users like uh, the student, the teachers. So let's move this part, which is already testable code to some other class. Uh, like we would like to make an abstract class. User email. that will have a function validate user id and user type
and we will put our testable code here. So we will take the code from here and we will put it here. And if that condition passes, we will return true. We are not writing any new logic. So we are just doing refactoring and this code is already testable. So that is allowed. So uh, for refactoring, I think we will extend user email class and we will remove this code and we will say if not this validate dollar user id dollar user type it should return false we are just refactoring we are not writing any new logic but we will again execute our test to see if, uh, if we have break something saying user class is not found in parent email i think it's kind of composer issue so our four tests have passed so that's it we are we have done with the refactoring also we have moved a common code which will be used in parent email or child email sorry parent email and uh, the teacher email or a student email we we have uh, you know ref, uh, kept that common code in our uh, parent class which is the user email so that's it i think uh, i hope you all have uh, liked uh, this uh, tutorial and let me know if you have more questions about this thank you and please subscribe Please don't forget to subscribe because that will keep me inspired to add more, more videos for you all. Bye guys.